When you're Team Canada, you have a maple leaf pinned to your sleeve. It's a marking that's more than a bullseye because everyone wants a shot at you. It's tough being the biggest moose in the wilderness, especially when an eagle is eyeing you. Since the World Championships for Lacrosse started in 1967, only two teams have won, Canada and the U.S. However, Canada won two of the last three World Championships. You have to give yourself up to the team, but everybody also has to eat, and you got to figure out how everybody kind of fits because, um, you know, not everybody's going to be the superstar in one sense, but, you know, I think that, that, but everybody has to have a role. And what specifically is that role? I don't really know right now. I know Jeff Snyder's going to take face-offs and Jake Withers is. You know, we know Brody's going to play defense. And how's everybody else fit, you know, within the puzzle? Um, and, and that's why, you know, you have a lot of dual-purpose guys because when you go through this tournament, you, you know, you could have some injuries. For star defenseman Brody Merrill, he'll be playing in his fourth world championship and knows what it takes to win it all. It's a, definitely a mental uh, battle throughout the course of the, the two weeks. Um, you, you try to stay in the moment, you try to take it game by game, you don't overlook anyone. Um, you know, even watching the Iroquois last night and how impressive they were and so you kind of get the butterflies in the stomach and, and every year the, you know, uh, the competitive balance grows and, and, you know, teams like England and Australia, you know, it, it's, you got to be at your best and, and so um, you, you stay in the moment, you take it day by day and, and again, hopefully you just gradually, incrementally get better as the a, as a tournament goes on. For 2006 World Championship MVP Jeff Snyder, this year's World Championships will be different so far from home. Hopped on a, on a plane, um, you know, the flight was smooth, everything was great, guys were comfortable. Um, you know, it's, it's a beautiful part of the world and, and, uh, and I think uh, guys are going to settle in well. Nicknamed by some the Bull, the stout Snyder is dominant at face-offs, altering the amount of Canada's possessions. Between he and Merrill, they're the old guard but important for Canada. You get to come to this uh, this event, and, and uh, because you know where guys are, you know NCAA or playing, you know in the NLL or MLL and all these things, and and for us, we finally get to get them together. Um, and so, so yeah, you're exactly right. It's it's kind of you know it's going through the process. What do we really actually have? Sure, we can practice it. That certainly is not like playing in the game. Like in ice hockey, the border war between the U.S. and Canada is one of the most compelling rivalries in sport. If the prognosticators are accurate, the championship game will pit the two countries in a battle for international glory again. No cash, just medals and bragging rights for another four more years. You know, as neighboring countries, that, that rivalry runs deep in, in a number of different things. Um, you know, hockey, uh, lacrosse, um, you know, football probably not so much, but uh, uh, you know, it, it's, it's deep rooted. Um, you know, they're obviously a, a very, you know, they're a great ally in, in terms of, uh, you know, in, in terms of trade and, and, and being neighboring countries. And, you know, I think it's a testament to both, uh, to that rivalry that, that it is very heated, it is very passionate um, with respect to sports and competing. Um, you know, in the same breath, uh, you know, it's, it's incredible that the two countries are, are so tightly knit to one another as well. Unlike athletes from other countries, the Americans and Canadians play professional and are made up of a composite team. Both teams have limited practice time and preparation for the Worlds, and the Canadians only got on the pitch twice before arriving in Israel. And the international rules are different than field, box, and that of the pro games. If the pass is any indicator, this year's Field World Championships will be the rubber match of a five-game series because the U.S. won in 2002 and 2010, while Canada won in 2006 and 2014. But that holds no guarantees come the final on Saturday.